Listen, I know I have a visual aesthetic that probably makes you think I'm into a very particular kind of gaming experience, like farming simulators, and dating simulators, and farming simulators wherein you date within the simulation. Unfortunately, I am here today to tell you that I am into a fundamentally different kind of gaming experience. Early 2000s era boy games! Ah, this takes me back. I remember buying this game on a physical disc and manually inserting it into my computer. I think it added to my Steam library and it downloaded from there, but at least I got the first half of the experience. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't remember what the story for this game is outside of man in cool suit, shoot gun, good, yes. Uh... Um... So far there are 127 laboratory confirmed cases, but due to the speed of infection... Uh, whoops. Uh, uh-oh. Look, if I had to choose an Xbox 360 era video game that predicted the future, I would have at least chosen the Simpsons game, because they at least have precedence for it. Listen, I'm no geography expert by any means, but I don't think you can fit a nuclear submarine in the Hudson River. Only planes can do that. God, I forgot how much of a chokehold the gung-ho military man aesthetic had on video games in the 2010s. Like, this game was heralded for having revolutionary graphics at the time, but I'm pretty sure that's just because they decided to use fancy blue lighting and not make everything brown. Ooh, being on a sinking submarine is my worst nightmare, that's why I never finished Bioshock. That and my save corrupted. Oh, 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 I clipped through the wall for a second there. Bad game, zero out of 10, refunded. Look at that, swimming movement and animations. I'm sure that took hundreds of hours to develop and will not be used again at any point throughout the game. I distinctly remember playing this bit when I was like 12 or 13 and thinking, ah yes, this is what drowning would look like. Why the fuck is John Crisis so cheeked up? God damn. Listen to me well, boy. My time is over now. You must become the Crisis. Oh shit, I forgot that's actually the plot of this game. I was once the Crisis. Now you must be the Crisis too. You know what? It was a bold choice to give a video game an intro sequence like this. Like, sure, let's take one of the most interactive digital mediums of all time and then give our players a video that's like two minutes long that they have to sit through. It, th that doesn't even add anything to the story. Like, what do I see in here? It's a cool robot suit? We knew that from the box art! Oh, wow, look at all this tactical gameplay. Man, I sure wish I was, you know, in control of the action right now. Oh god, I'm sorry, if you need a tactical visor UI readout to tell you that a rocket launcher mounted to the side of an attack helicopter is to be considered a threat, you shouldn't be wearing the crisis suit. There is absolutely no reason why this sequence couldn't be carried out in game. Captain America? God, the entire visual aesthetic for this game is literally just the packaging of graphics cards in the early 2010s. <laughs> God, what an awful example of stealth gameplay. He was spotted and shot at immediately. I mean, that also tends to be what happens when I try to stealth things, so uh, I guess I gotta give a credit for that. Holy shit, Boris Slavov mentioned. Also, you're here too, I guess. Dude, you're shooting a machine gun at a tank. You might as well punch the fucking thing. That wasn't a suggestion! I am like 10 minutes into playing this game, and the biggest majority of it so far has literally been this one cutscene. This is literally just an ad for a game that I've already bought in 2011. You don't need to convince me that I want to play a game about a robot super soldier shooting big guns and shooting down helicopters. I've already bought the game. Also, I'm human. Anyway, I think that's enough gameplay for me for now. Bye bye
Listen, if you ever want to get me into a mildly erotic headspace, all you have to do is show me cool sci-fi robotic UI. Mm. Love that shit. I feel like one of them YouTube ghost hunting boys. Did they ever recover from making their own streaming service? Mildly tangential, but why does every major personality group on YouTube end up making their own streaming service? Like, is that a thing anybody asked for? Like, the BuzzFeed guys did it, Critical Role did it, the two Try Guys that still remain did it. I feel like they all saw Dropout get mildly popular and say, hmm, I need me one of those. Actually, non-joke answer here, but I think most of these guys would have been content having a Patreon to deliver exclusive content, but then they kind of shit the bed and raised their fees a whole bunch. So everyone just decided to go rogue and create their own new streaming services from scratch. I mean, what else are they gonna do? Use YouTube memberships? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. There's plenty of fine creators out there who use the YouTube memberships program to create delightful content that delights us all. Shout out to Play on Tabletop, y'all are real ones. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna solve that problem. Or do I? I don't know if this is a hot take, but graphics in video games don't need to be better than this. Like, we've done it. We've won, okay? Not every video game has to be photorealistic either. Like, if it wants to be and that helps support, you know, the vibe and the visual identity that the game wants to put forth, perfect, by all means. But you don't need ray tracing on everything. Like, I don't need to see a character's arm hairs glistening in the sunlight as they walk down the street. Like, I can do that at home. Just give me two days after shaving and have it be summer. Like, I, I can see that myself. Yo, look, the, 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 the testicles on the horses in Red Dead Redemption 2 shrink when it's cold. Fuck off. Graphics don't need to upgrade past the point that they were at in fucking L.A. Noir, okay? As long as you have a character model with enough facial bones to tick slightly when they're lying, like, that, that, that's good. We don't need any more. No more polygons, we're done. Hey, that's not edited by the way, that's straight up how quickly the game reloads. Which is good for me, because I can guarantee that's gonna happen a lot. I'm not good at video games, okay? I'm not gonna pretend to be good at video games. You give me a list of difficulty options you want me to choose, I'm gonna go with normal, every time, motherfucker. I don't give a shit if I'm playing a game that was from that weird 2000s era where the easy modes were called like, Goo Goo Gaga Baby Time. I have high enough blood pressure as it is. I don't need digital people shooting at me to make it any worse. Also, I'm so happy we're out of that fucking era of video games. Uh, just let people play how they want to play, alright? Wolfenstein is one of my favorite modern game franchises of all time, all right? I can't tell you how many people I have known personally who would have loved to play a, a rich gameplay narrative about shooting Nazis in the goddamn head, but weren't good or, or had any experience with first-person shooter game. An easy mode would have allowed them to experience the phenomenal story, which is a key selling point of the franchise, by the way. But do you think any of them are gonna have a good time when this is the first face that they're met with? Also, I lied. I can tell you how many people I thought would have loved it if not for that. It was three. <coughs> ah, that's good drinking water. Crisis 2 Pacifist Run. By which I mean skulking around the enemy base completely invisible so no one shoots me because I'm bad at shooting them run. Why is every video game always obsessed with New York or Los Angeles? Why can't we have a big budget first person shooter set in the downtown Melbourne CBD? I want to see how many physics engineers I can get trying to run up this fucking thing that's been sitting outside the Arts Center for 40 years. I forget, was the whole Aliens thing like integral to the Crisis franchise? Or did people think it was like a gung-ho military shoot 'em up and then was just like, hey, what the fuck? I wonder where the pharmacy gets all their supplies from. Probably the drugstore. God, what's the point of being invisible if I stop being invisible the moment I do the one thing I'm supposed to do while I'm invisible? 
in the game, I, I mean. Like, I, I wouldn't kill people if I had the ability to turn invisible. Uh, instead, I would, um... This hypothetical literally has zero good answers. If you ask someone what their superpower of choice would be and they say invisibility, kill them. Just kill them. If I had to choose a superpower, it would be complete indestructibility, so I could jump off buildings anytime I want. Listen, don't psychoanalyze that. I have a lot of stairs in my day-to-day -day life, and gravity would be quicker. Either that or shape-shifting. I don't know, that could be fun. <laughs> Get fucked, military idiot. Oh, shit, he's fine. This is Commander Lockhart to all cell personnel. Despite all medical attempts to reverse the effects of the cellular breakdown in the infected, we have found no viable cure. Evacuation is no longer an option. A shoot to kill discretion is now vested citywide to be exercised upon any suspicion of infection. Further to this, nanosuit subject, Prophet, is also designated as an active biohazard. Prophet is to be shot on sight. Well, this day can't get any worse. Son of a bitch. The 2010s were a special time in gaming. You see how we transition into cinematic footage while the game UI is still there and reacting as though it's gameplay? Mwah! Love that shit. Better than sex. Listen, I'm no expert. But I don't think you can do that. Actually, no, I, I just googled it. Turns out you can do that. Thank you, Silencer Central, a website which will change my recommended ad algorithm forever. But come on, I was doing a tactical assessment on how best to kill you guys. You can't shoot me, I wasn't ready yet. John Cena from the top rope. Really? You're gonna make me a game about the power fantasy of being a cool robot man with super strength, super durability, super jump, and then you're gonna give me full damage? Honestly, it's the inclusion of the super jump that does it for me. Like, why are you even gonna give me that ability if all it's gonna do is make me fall head first onto my own dick? Also, where the fuck did my silencer go? Why can't I equip it anymore? Stupid idiot, I'm not even invisible. Well, don't need this. You're my friend now. Listen, ultimately I'm gonna end this video with one final thought that I want you to take home and consider. Did they need to make him so cheeked up? Yeah.